Greetings from the floating island in the sky. I'm Sai, bringing you another episode of Artelanico 2. Um, yeah, I forgot to save state after the last episode, so we're back all the way up here without any battle experience. We're not gonna care that much. We're gonna start the session talking to people. Hopefully unlocking more Cosmospheres in the process. Oh, if... If you wear the costume for enough battles, you will actually get a talk topic for that costume. E. Yes, she was a very cute girl. What's wrong? So apparently her mind guardian is missing. can already go into level 3. At least staying in, a, in it is free. Again? Another level 3 conversation. Okay. Awesome. Wow, that's a lot. Find anything in that dark forest? I don't think so. Wow, that's okay. So I'm obviously behind. <laughs> anyway. Can't really do anything plot related right now. I'm gonna go back to diving. I have the money, don't I? Yep. Okay, so I'm a little behind on these Cosmospheres because I didn't think to do them at the time. And the fact that Lotion's Cosmosphere kind of trolled me to death. This place has complete. Yeah, this place is completely different. I was gonna say it has a completely different feel to it. You're here again. This is a strange place. Really? I think it's pretty normal for a cosmosphere. I see. So what am I supposed to do here? Why would I tell you that? Why don't you figure it out for yourself? Uh, 
All right. You're supposed to explore and conquer a cosmos here yourself. I'll just sit back and watch. And make fun of you at the same time. Ha 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 ha! I'll go here, even though I don't need to be. I'll go here. Anyway, where's Lady Cloche? Oh my god, spoken dialogue! Oh? Ah, there you are. Hey, you! Look out! Oh. Ouch! You can't just hit me whenever you want. You're the one who's trespassing here. What do you want anyway? He wants... Stuff. Um, well, I'm here because we dived. Oh, why am I exposing myself to some stupid guy? I feel so violated. Ouch. Well, I think you look good in that outfit. That's not what I meant. I wasn't talking about whether or not I look good in this outfit. So, what were you talking about? It doesn't matter. If you care about me, then don't come in here anymore. Uh, yeah. No. Leave and don't ever come back. Get out of my sight. Never. All right already. Don't agree with her. Hmm, another argument? Too bad for you, Miss Manager of the Grand Bell Cafe. Grand Bell Cafe? Manager? Luca? Ah, yes. She's back in that outfit again. This has nothing to do with you. Oh, yes, it does. You two are fighting in front of my restaurant, and you're scaring my customers. A cafe? Restaurant? What's going on here? Yeah, I know what's going on here, but I don't want to say. My apologies, dear customers. It looks like the renegade shop of our shopping district is at it again. Who are you calling a renegade? Dear customer, the Grand Bell Cafe is the one and only renegade shop in this district. Why do I feel like I'm playing Persona 4 all of a sudden? Please come to our sacred modern cafe to finish your dining experience. We're proud to offer you our best services. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Stealing your business away? Oh, you weren't going to the Grand Bell Cafe, were you? I just wanted you to experience the best food. Plus, we're a very trendy cafe. We have freshly made omelets. What? We can make an omelet, too. Oh, dear. <laughs> a Grand Bell Cafe omelet? <laughs> you mean a pickled mackerel and oyster sauce? I thought that was your special menu. It's pretty out of date. We're proud of our traditional menu. You're right, tradition is important. But why don't I see anyone in there when our place has a line out the door? Your restaurant stole all of our customers! We didn't steal anything. Customers have the right to choose. Maybe they just got tired of your place. Will you two stop fighting? I can make a better omelet than you. Then I'll take all my customers back. You sound pretty confident. How about a competition over which one of us can get more customers? Competition? Yep. Our places are rivals. We don't need two eateries in this small town. Rather than risking both of us going out of business, the less popular one has to leave town. Leave? Yeah. Don't you think it's a good idea? I think it's an awesome idea if it gets you two to stop fighting each other. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I guess that's pretty unfair to you. So the bet's on. What? Well, you're not going to back out now, are you? <sighs> of course not. You better start packing your stuff. Likewise. Lady Cloche. <laughs> you look nervous. Has it always been like this? Well, we've always been competitors, but the Grand Bell Cafe hasn't kept up with modern society. 
They've got a stubborn, old-fashioned owner, so they can't follow the trends. Modern society? Anyway, aren't you hungry? Come on in if you want. No way! You're... I mean, I guess I have to. Sorry for the wait. Our special meal, an omelet with shredded cabbage on the side. This looks pretty good, but the combination of an omelet and cabbage seems... Really, really weird. That's the best part. Here, try it. All right, if you insist. Careful, it's actually mystery food. Hmm. Of the X variety, I guess. No? Hmm? Uh, I'm just speaking my head off here, and it's just like, uh... This... this is great! How can no wonder you've got a line out the door. You really like it? Yeah! The shredded cabbage is what does it. I don't like cabbage. I like lettuce. Lettuce is good. I mean, for like, on sandwiches and such. The shredded cabbage? Yeah, um, did I say something wrong? Oh no, thank you very much. Please, let the chefs know too. Ishikawa! You called for me. Our dear customer loves your food! Thank you. Jean Ishikawa is very honored. Ishikawa, serve him some more shredded cabbage. Yes, it would be my pleasure. Amazing! Cabbage is being shredded in seconds. Again, and I slice something stupid. Yes, you did. Ishikawa excels at everything, except when it comes to corned beef hash. Other than hash, huh? Thank you for coming. Take this doggy bag for your travels. What great service. Our service is number one. Hmm. That shredded cabbage was pretty good. I don't understand how you could like that stuff. But the omelet wasn't that special. I wonder if people go there for the cabbage. I would rather go there for the omelet. If the competition is about omelets, there may be hope yet. Anyway, where did Lady Cloche go? Try the restaurant. What, really? Lone City. Grand Bell Cafe. Yes, I'm still here. She's being pretty rude about her service. Elfin. <laughs> That's funny, actually. So, I guess this is a part where it's like she's blaming the Chancellor for not letting her do what she wants. I don't know. Ow. Eggy G egg. She 
he's still being rude about it. <sighs> I got kicked out. What should I do now? I definitely have to go get that chef back. What the? You're Alice? What's wrong? I'm hungry. Haven't you eaten? No? Just some medicine? It's terrible. Oh, here. Some food that Luke gave to me. You want some? Yes! Oh, where's she going? What a weird girl. Oh, I met you earlier. Oh, the chef from the restaurant. I'm Ishikawa. You know close, right? I'm gonna ask you for a favor. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I actually used to work at the Grand Bell Cafe, and Cloche used to take good care of me. Really? Yes, but one day I mistakenly cut off the owner's twirled hair. Oh no! On top of that, it is my habit to say, again, I have sliced something stupid. Every time I cut something. That's terrible. I was an accredited as a professional chef then, so I was easily fired. I got a job at Luca's restaurant after that, and my task there is to shred cabbage all day long. I'm just getting fed up with this. Do you know another job opening up somewhere? I see, so that's what happened. Would you return to the Grand Bell Cafe if you could? Of course. Then you should. No, I can't. The owner won't let me, and Clush has given up on me coming back as well. Okay, nothing over here, so I have to go back to the... I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Stop dreading my DP! Sun Sun and Summon. Sun Sun Sunday! Yeah! Okay! That was close to what I actually said, anyway. Yeah, they're no fun! Uh, okay, it froze there for a sec. One really expensive cosmosphere. Oh, 
Of course, I get this, the magic for it. Magic, cute drive, level 1A. Sun, sun, summon. Sun, sun, Sunday. Let's go. I almost need more DP. Drive level two A. Sorry, we're just gonna butcher your egg. I hope you don't mind. I'm actually gonna use. Are you joking? Shut up. <laughs> it's still expensive to be here. actually taste in a dive. Unless he's lying. Sacred Modern Cafe. <laughs> but it's like... reference to your own cosmos here, Luca? Brave Thunder, level 2A. Ooh, hey, look. I was waiting for some... Oh, look! A paradigm shift! Look, looks like it's happening. There's no chance for my turn this time. I didn't do much this time either. Lydia Cloche did it by herself. Let's see, just remember one thing. Anything that's trouble to you could mean a whole lot for her. What's happening is an example of what I'm talking about. Really? Of course. If you weren't needed in this situation, the situation wouldn't have happened in the first place. She could have solved it herself, and wouldn't have been in her cosmosphere. Your small influence... Your small influence led to this big result. I see. You better be careful. Anything small you do in this world can greatly affect your life. Good and bad. Yeah. Oh, well, let's get out of here. Dude. 
There's no way you're gonna stop me from visiting! Damn. You shouldn't let her that get to you. Oh yeah? In this world, you don't want her words to get to you all the time. Every level consists of one of her personalities and her memories. She could contradict herself in every other level. Okay, I see. Anyway, I'm glad to see a paradigm shift occurred again. You're pretty good. I never thought I'd see, you'd see a paradigm shift, but you've done it twice already. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, of course it's a compliment. Completed Cloche's Cosmosphere Level 2. Obtained costume, old modern style. I have to actually wait and scroll on the screen before I can read it. And I'm gonna make a save state and let's go have a little training session out in the wild. While equipping both costumes again. And pressing the right button. I don't know. Uh, okay, that's not that bad. I don't even know why I didn't use a costume for her in the first place. Okay, that leads nowhere. Man, I gotta go get that IPD again, too. Oh well. Rotation! Come on, attracting. What is Q Drive supposed to do again? Listen to my spirit! Bring it on! Basically, the costumes I went with are what you see in the uh, IPD and Repetica video. <laughs> Whoa, be careful next time. I'm sorry. I failed. Horribly. Oh well. <clears throat> With that, tune in again for more Artelinico 2.